Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to export data from CRM here in Zoho. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Zoho, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Exporting data from Zoho CRM allows you to save a copy of your data for reporting, analysis, or backup uh, purposes. Now, make sure you are on the uh, Zoho product of a CRM because right now I am on the uh, Zoho Mail. I'm going to switch over to the homepage. In the homepage, just click on the CRM here. And you would be forwarded to a new page. Once you are in the CRM homepage, just click on the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon. And I want you to hover down to where it says data administration and click on export. Okay. Now, you see, you can export a max of 200,000 uh, records. And to export all our data, you'll need to request data backup. But for now, we're going to start on export. If you don't have a module yet, you might want to uh, select the uh, users, accounts, cases, competitors, contracts, or deals, and there's a lot that you can work with. In my case, I'm just going to be looking on accounts, and all you have to do is a very straightforward process because you just have to click on the export button. You see, when the export has been successful, just click on the uh, start and export and the status is in progress. If you have multiple datas here, right, the export now is ready for download. If you have multiple data sets that you are working with, you can filter them by data, right? You can select users right here. You can select the modules if you wanted for users, accounts, cases, campaigns, con contacts, deals, and a lot more. And of course, you can also set the uh, range. For example, is it going to be today, yesterday, last seven uh, days, 30 days, specific date, maybe. For example, if you're working with around last, last month, you might want to choose that. Or you can also put in the custom range, all right? For example, you're going to be looking for the last, I don't know, la last uh, seven months. It's all up to you. But remember, if you're exporting uh, 200,000 records, you need to request the data backup. If you do that, you would be forwarded here in this section, wherein you can download a complete copy of your CRM data by purchasing a backup from here, all right? And once you're happy with that, all you're going to do is click on download. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.